Hello and welcome to our video introducing you to the Bioluminate interface. After this video, you should know how to open Bioluminate, change your working directory, save a project, and customize your mouse actions. You will also be able to import a structure into the workspace, as well as zoom, rotate, and select a structure. Let's get started. Please follow along to help remember the concepts we will cover. Feel free to pause this video or skip back to sections if needed. Locate Bioluminate on the desktop and double click to open. Just a note that it will be much easier to navigate and perform tasks in Bioluminate if you are using a three button mouse with a scroll wheel as opposed to a trackpad or a trackpad mouse such as an Apple Magic Mouse. Let's maximize the Bioluminate window so it takes up more of the screen. Now, before we load in any structures, we are going to change our working directory. We recommend that you do this before doing anything else when you open Bioluminate. The working directory is where any files you generate in the Bioluminate session will be written. It is also where Bioluminate will look first for any files to read in. Setting your working directory appropriately is a great way to keep different files for different research projects organized. Now go to File and choose Change Working Directory. Here you will select your desktop, then click Add a new folder. Name this folder Course and click Choose. Now that you have chosen a working directory, you need to save your work as a project. Currently, we are in a Scratch project, and none of the work will be saved if the project is closed. Saved projects continue to save automatically, like a Google Doc, so that all of your work will be there the next time you open up the project. To save your Bioluminate session as a project, come up to File, and choose Save Project As. We will save the project as Bioluminate underscore intro and click Save. In general, you can name projects and files however you'd like. Our recommendation is to avoid spaces in file and project names. Use dashes and underscores instead. We are now going to load in the crystal structure of the extracellular domain of human HER2, complexed with the Herceptin fab. Go to the left corner of the interface and go to File and choose Import Structures. Select the 1n8z underscore prepared dot MAE file. Once you open the file, a banner will appear at the top of the 3D workspace. This typically happens in Bioluminate when you load in a file, a calculation finishes running, or to suggest a common next step. There are many different ways your mouse can interact with the Bioluminate interface. You can customize your mouse actions for whatever mouse you are using by going to Workspace, then Customize Mouse Actions. For example, if you are using a trackpad, you can select the trackpad mode. If you're a PyMol user, it might be helpful to use the PyMol mode. PyMol mode is a default mode in Bioluminate, and we're going to stick with that. For the duration of the course, all videos and instructions will be made using PyMol mode. Back in the workspace, click and drag on the left mouse button to rotate the structure in the workspace. Next, Use the right mouse button to zoom in and out. Take a second to get used to these motions. Now, click and drag your scroll wheel. This translates the structure in the XY plane. Finally, let's zoom in a bit to see the individual residues of the structure more clearly. Use your left mouse button to click on some part of your structure. 
This will select the particular residue that your mouse clicked. And you should notice that all the atoms in the residue are highlighted in blue. Also notice that residues under your mouse will highlight as you hover over them. Use this predictive highlighting to help you know what you are going to click on before you click on it. This is especially useful when you have a crowded workspace. Zoom out a bit. Now that we have gotten familiar with our mouse actions, let's look at other ways we can zoom. Let's say you somehow lose where your protein structure is. You can click Fit View to fit all included atoms to your workspace. Likewise, we can zoom in to just a group of selected atoms. Notice that buttons in Bioluminate will become active or inactive depending on what is in your workspace. For instance, if we don't have any atoms selected in our workspace, this button isn't active. You can use this visual cue to help you know which buttons to use, as well as hovering over buttons to use a tooltip to remind you what they do. Now that we have covered mouse actions and zooming, we can move on to selection. Currently, we are on the residue selection scope. This means that we can choose at the residue level within the workspace. Once more, if you hover over different buttons, a tooltip will appear telling you exactly what that button is for. It is important to know that Bioluminate works on a select first paradigm. That means that if you want to change the look of a molecule in the workspace, or you want to modify part of a molecule, you first need to select those atoms within the workspace. Let's select a residue in the workspace. If we look down at our status bar at the bottom of the Bioluminate interface, you can see we have one residue selected. You can also select the whole chain by double-clicking the residue. Back at the selection scope, click Secondary Structure and come back to the protein in the workspace. When you hover over it, it will highlight the secondary structure in that region. Then, when you click once, now the blue spheres will encircle the whole secondary structure. Click in the empty workspace to clear the selection. Keep an eye on the letter next to your mouse cursor to remember what selection scope you currently have. You should now be comfortable with opening web-based Bioluminate, saving your projects, and interacting with the workspace structures.